Hi, my name is Jill Kesty, and I run a Facebook group called Coalition to End Forced Psychiatric Drugging on Facebook. Today is May 17th, 2022. I have to go down to the local community mental health and get a shot of 300 milligrams of Abilify Maintainer in my system, in my arm, um, and I have to do this every month, at least until November. And um, the court order that I am on that is making me do this m is up in November, and I will be re reappearing in court to fight it once again and say that I want to be off this order and I want to manage my own medications. I don't want anybody delivering meds and um, I want to work with them. Um, but I, in the end, I want to be off of these drugs and I should have a right to try and be off of any psychotropic brain disabling neurotoxins. These are poisonous to the body system and the mind and the brain, and they are causing great havoc in me. I've gained 45 pounds. We'll find out today if I've gained more than that now in um, less than six months and my body is starting to fall apart. I am extremely upset again today, even though I can't feel a whole lot, I do feel extreme anger. And um, I, of course, transform that anger and alchemize it in my coalition page so that I uh, manage it because it could really eat me alive, um, the amount of anger I have at the system for torturing me. That's what this is, this is torture. The United Nations Convention on Rights of Persons with Disabilities and 177 countries that have ratified that treaty agree that forced drugging is torture and that it must be prohibited stopped completely. In Ontonagon, Michigan today, the Ontonagon Community Mental Health, part of the Copper Country Mental Health System, is um, participating in torture. And I feel tortured. Um, I don't know what else to say, but taking poisons goes against my entire belief system and they have thrown my human rights of having my own beliefs out the window. Um, they don't care what I think. They only believe that I need to be socially controlled. Um, that's probably the only way I can put that. Uh, they don't want me to act out, and so therefore they shut my entire brain down. They disable it. This is not healing. This is not health care. This is torture. Uh, I'm going to keep this video short because I want to um, <laughs> not bore people. And... Um, I've been saying these things for five years, and it's, it's, yeah, it's a broken record to me. Um, all I can say is that I hope that you have a heart and that you can look around in society and see the connections between psychiatric brain-disabling neurotoxins, um, psychotropic drugs, and the effect that they have on society and on the children. Um, it's not good news and it's not good news for the people who are on them or the people who are, are not on them. Um, the threat is there that you can be forced drugged against your will. If you have, say your, your mom died or something, or your daughter died and, um, you went through a couple years of grief Well, you could get labeled, um, thrown into a psych ward you could get strip searched. Um, you could get 
killed by the police when they come to your house for a wellness check. Um, many bad things can happen just because you're, you're, you you went through a period that you didn't see coming and you didn't have the skills to cope with it in the way that society deems acceptable. So those types of things happen every day. And, um, there needs to be a system of mental health created that is um, a system um, based on wellness and balance and um, doesn't rely on medications to just calm people down. We need to work with them and try to use a, as a few, few medications as possible because of the da damaging effects of these drugs. They are extremely damaging and the way they're used now, they're just shotgunned at people in hopes that something works. And um, that is not healthy. I have taken thousands and thousands and thousands of drugs. And um, it, it shouldn't be this way. I shouldn't have to take these drugs. I can manage. I have managed without them for six years. I managed without them after I was first diagnosed and I succeeded. I built a house uh, and out of a job and um, I, I had my first um, team leader position. I succeeded in many, many ways when I was off of the drugs. Now that I am on them and, that, and they're so heavy, I, I don't function the way that I should or that I have in the past. And it's not age, it's the drugs. So support Coalition to End Force Psychiatric Drugging on Facebook. Support the consumers, survivors, and ex-patients of psychiatry. And support people who are in an AOT program. If you know they are, they're struggling, whether they know it or not, because Deep down inside, we all know that these drugs are going to kill us and the cognitive dissonance that we have about taking such drugs is large. And unfortunately, in a system needs to be created that is compassionate and caring and that we can um, go and turn to in lieu of the biological medical model. Um, anyway, um, thanks for listening and have a great afternoon and I'm gonna try to keep positive and make it through this injection today and live with the poison in my system. Thank you.